Welcome, my name is Brenda and today we will be going over the week three check-in for June. And again, the categories that I like to keep track of are gas, groceries, and restaurant. So I'm going to look back at the calendar view and we're going to go over gas first. So for this week we spent uh, $40.41 that was to fill up the truck and then I got gas in my RAV4 on Saturday for $15.45. Looks like those were the only two. So 40, 41 plus 15, 45 equals 55, 86. And then at the end of last week, we had 145, 46 minus what we spent this week, which was 50, oh, whoops. Minus the 55.86 gives us a remaining of 89.60, which will be the remaining will be 89.60 for the next week because there's only one week left. Okay, and then for groceries. I mentioned in the last video that we were going to have to pick up lettuce. So we did pick up lettuce. We also picked up, I think, creamer for our coffees. And then Matt picked up a snack in the beginning on the morning of Thursday. So 177 plus 1267. And then I think Matt got something that morning again. Just fine. And then I went to a farmer's market and I bought some salsa for $5. And then we did our weekly groceries for $63.15. Why do I keep forgetting the plus sign? $63.15 plus $16.66. We did go grocery shopping while we were hungry. That is completely our fault. We all know you cannot go grocery shopping when you're hungry. It never ends well. So 149.66 is what we had at the remaining for last week. And we spent 102.92. So we have 46.74. Forty six seventy four remaining for that final week. It might be a little tight, but that's okay. It's half June, half July, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, because this is the final week. There's only a few days. As long as we don't buy anything. And then, oh, I do have to admit, when I did my check-in last week, I had included the $7.25, except there was a $3 tip on there, and it hadn't registered on our bank account, so I had forgotten that we had added it, so I do have to include that, and I don't think, no, we didn't go to the rest, any restaurants last week, so I'll add that here, and then $34.34 minus the $3 is $31.34. So the remaining for that last week is thirty-one thirty-four, and we've already done our meal plan for this week, and we've decided that on Saturday we're going to go out to dinner. So you'll see a restaurant charge on this day on my next check-in. I think overall we didn't do too bad for the categories. I mean, gas is great. We can definitely each fill up next week if we needed to. Groceries, that's going to be a tight one next week, but 
Again, I'm not too concerned. It's the end of the month. We did quite a bit of shopping this day, so I don't think we'll have to stop at the grocery store anytime this week. And then for this one, we just have to get through these three days. And then for July, if we need to, we can pull from that budget and during this week's budget. So, and normally at the beginning of the month, just as we did at the beginning of June, as we go to Costco, so we'll see that in the July check-in. So, and then restaurant, I think it's good. We'll have a little, nothing too extravagant night out on Saturday, but we'll have that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if there are categories that you track that you tend to go over with or are always concerned about each month. Um, I think maybe next month I might add another category and I'm kind of debating on which one it will be. It might be home maintenance, but we'll see. So anyways, again, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.